Welcome to Genuine Cora guys. This is the 15th video in the Java FX material design tutorial series and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the JFX tree table view for making material design tree table view. This one is very much similar like the tree table view that is available in the Java FX control package and I recommend you to learn how to make use of the normal tree table view before watching this video. I have given a description, I have given a link in the description uh, to my video on the basic tree table view usage and let's see how we can uh, use the JFX tree table view. So uh, in order to explain from the base I'm going to remove the code. So let's remove the code and I'm going to remove this import too. And what we now have is a class for wrapping the properties and for the property I mean the uh, department age and employee so there is a, a username there is a department I mean this is the employee name and this age and department which are string property we have to use string property because it is a, an observable value and we have uh, created a constructor that receives these parameter and construct a string property from the uh, string value so that's about the user class and let's have a look into the fxml file and in there I have a flow pane I have used flow pane for simplicity and there is jfx tree table view that can be dra dragged and dropped from the library section so I'm going to use that and I have pasted it right here so this is our tree table view unfortunately it is not possible to drag and drop the jfx tree table view column unlike what we did in the uh, other cases or in uh, for normal j uh, tree table view tree for normal tree table view there is a tree table column available for drag and drop but in jfx tree table view it is not available unfortunately so we have a jfx tree table view and inside that i'm going to give a name tree view okay so i have given the name tree view for the variable jfx tree table view variable and let's create the control skeleton fxml document so there is an issue that is because I have used the same name uh, for the project which is the fx tree tab view so I have to explicitly import the com dot jphoenix dot a control stuff jfx tree tab view and I'm going to import this too so let's go so now we got the jfx tree table view in our control skeleton uh, controller and inside that we are using the user class so i'm going to give user so we got the tree view here and let's go for defining column so the jfx tree table tree table column can be used for constructing columns and of course we are having a string a user string property so it is jfx tree table column because the class is user and the property is definitely string and I'm going to give the department name let the name be department name then jfx tree table column column and inside that I'm going to give the header name just like before department so that's fine and next thing I'm going to set the default width so set set preferred width let it be 150 and next thing we have to give the set uh, the, we have to set the value factory for the cell so I'm going to do that department name dot set cell value factory this cell va factory is used for making changes to the cell and this value factory is used for representing what kind of data is being is to be shown on the cell so i'm going to use a callback and inside that callback i am going to return the value i mean this parameter contains an object of this class so return param 
dot get value which will give a tree item dot get value which will give the user object object of the user and inside that we have to uh, return the department because the column is definitely department so we are specifically saying that the cell will be representing the department value or the cell will be showing the va department value and I am going to repeat this code for age and department name and it is age column h column and one more thing is the name column I'm going to repeat that again and this time it is name call and here I have to give name. employee name so we got the name column of course we have to change the variable name here too so it's okay name column and here it is age column so that's set so we have defined value for the department for the age and for the name so the set uh, the cell value factory for these three columns are done and next thing that we have to do is to associate the tree structure with a tree table view for that in order to give the data I'm going to create an observable list for the data so observable list and that will be of type the user users equals then FX collections dot observable array list so it's done and I'm going to add some of the users in order to save time some time I have uh, using the predefined uh, set of values which is available which, uh, which I have copied here and let's use that so we got a set of values set of user classes user object uh, which is added into the observable list so that's done for now I have to create a root element a root tree item and add all these users of the user object into that tree item it is just like we uh, what we do in the normal tree table view so uh, this is the code for creating a tree item so uh, I am going to I am creating a tree item named root uh, and it is of type a recursive tree item this is uh, required for uh, doing the manipulation that are available in the J J Phoenix package for tree table like filtering etc etc so you should use the recursive tree item and it takes the parameter user so uh, all these objects will be taken and added to the root item as children and the recursive recursive tree object dot get children is a callback for getting each item from the list and so we got it and the next thing we have to set is the tree view dot set root which will set the root of the tree view and that's set and we have to do the rest of the processing uh, the rest of the setting that is show root we don't have to show root and th at this case so I am going to say that false and a tree view dot get we have to we haven't added this column into our table so that's the next thing so I'm going to add get columns dot set all and I'm going to pass all the created columns so I have age column department column and name column so I'm going to give the department name first then age column then name column so we are we are already set uh, for running and I think it will work just let us run the code so as you can see we got the tree JFX tree table view and I know this is not what we are expecting right we haven't added the CSS styling for our table so let's see how we can add the CSS styling so I have created a main.css and I will be giving a link to this project and this contain uh, the set of styling that is used in the J Phoenix official documentation and this is the styling used to uh, create the uh, style that 
uh, style like this so this is pretty simple actually for this is basic css tree table view and in that uh, case we have given the color that is uh, this is 150 which is green color with the point eight opacity and we can uh, set color when it is focused uh, for first let me attach the css to my jfx tree table view and i am going to add that style sheets and there is main.css and it is attached now let's run the code and I'm going to run the program and that's it we got the material design look for our JFX tree table view and inside that this color this selection color is set by the tree table view color the first entry and by changing the opacity you can change the uh, opacity of the color you can change the color by here here I have decreased the opacity and it becomes something like this and I have set the background color to be white I mean the text color to be white when it is focused that is set here and this is all for uh, um, styling the columns etc etc so I will post a link I will post a give a link to this project in the CSS section so you can easily get this CSS file so that's about the basics of JFX tree table view guys I know this video has been a little bit long one so I'm going to stop for now and there will be a next video on JFX tree table view for implementing the filtering method that is available in the JavaFX tree table view class which is used for filtering the data present in this table view so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos